I like doing things with people, and the whole community life is very much that. Working with others, living with others. Awful more purpose in life, of course, but I love my sisters. so many things about it that I love and other things that are just like being in a family you know there's days when you have great days and you celebrate and you have a good time and the laughter is everywhere and there's other days when it's like I just want to be left alone I want to stay in my room and go to bed and read a good book or whatever but what happens in community as I've been longer and longer is that I see some of our sisters who maybe are in pain, who are, are making themselves get up because we always begin our day with Mass, we begin our day with prayer, we start with the Lord and we go from there. And I don't want to miss that. I want to be a part of that. And seeing them with their years and years and years of faithfulness and seeing how even in the midst of suffering or whatever, that they're able to be joyful, that they're able to be happy that they're able to say, okay, whatever the Lord wants today, we'll see what happens in the kingdom, you know. I see that happening for them and I want that for myself. I felt the uh, sense of joy in the community. Um, there was a sense of warmth in the uh, community spirit uh, when I visited. Um, there's their whole um, idea of prayer and uh, community life, in essence, was uh, what drew me. And uh, the Franciscan killers. When I was in formation, which has been a few years ago, <laughs> I've been in community about almost 20 years now, but when I was in formation, it was um, April Fool's Day. And everybody who I lived with expected me to play jokes on everyone else. They just, I don't know why, but they just thought that I would. We had supper that night, and, um, you know, I was pre feel feeling pretty good about myself because I had tricked different ones, you know, and pretty much the day was over. And Sister had made these, it looked like little appetizers, you know, little, little breads with cheese melted on top. Well, anyone who knows me knows I love cheese. I mean, if there's cheese on it, I'm gonna eat it. So I took one of these things, took a big bite out of it, and I'm chewing it, you know, and I'm, and I'm thinking, this is really chewy. There is something wrong with this. But I didn't want to hurt her feelings. And I was just getting ready to swallow. And she goes, no, 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 don't. And she goes, there's a cotton ball in there. <laughs> But we learn from each other from that, and it adds a richness to the whole group. Different spiritualities, different styles of prayer, uh, certainly all the personalities. You know, I came here with, oh, these sisters are so wonderful, and I had everybody on a pedestal, and one by one they fall down because they're human beings. And thank God they did, because that means I don't have to be something that I'm not. I can still be human, I can still be broken but I can join with a group who's going to help me get to heaven and I'm going to help them get to heaven. And that, that's just one of the coolest things about it. You know, they, they know my warts, they know my, my good stuff, they know the gifts I have, they challenge me to stretch. Um, and hopefully I can do that in a loving way too for them. So that's just, yeah, it's, it's worth my life to spend my life here with, with others in the same mindset. This community is one where we support one another. Um, everybody gets everybody gets along as best we can. We're all humans, but we do support each other and uh, help each other over the humps. Sometimes there are periods of uh, of sadness, you might say, or of uh, uh, difficult times. But because we have each other, we're able to make it through because we have each other in our Lord, it makes it all possible. A lot happens here at the Mother House with prayer, mass, meals, ministry, all of those kinds of things. We recreate together. Some of us will go to a movie. 
others might want to play cards or play a game. We might watch a movie on, on the DVD or watch a television show. Now, I have another story. I should have said it at the time when I was saying about the sisters, why I love the sisters and um, the examples that they are for me. I was going through a difficult time at one time. And um, I asked one of our sisters if um, she could help me in a specific way. And it involved some uh, work on her part. And she looked at me without hesitation and she said, I would consider it a sacred privilege. I've never forgotten that. Community life, the best part of community life is that you always have someone to share life with. Um, that it helps you to stay focused on what you're about as a sister. And it also just um, allows you to learn how to love in a different way. Um, yeah, that's what I like about community life.